Hi there, so in this video I'd like to share my experience of shooting with the Fujifilm X-H2S. So before I get my hands on this camera, well, this is actually the X-D4, but I'm using the X-H2S to record this talking headshot. So I used to spend a lot of time in post processing and trying to get the perfect shot, but with the X-H2S, things have changed dramatically. For starters, the camera is incredibly fast with light and fast autofocus and a burst speed of up to 40 frames per second. That means I can capture the perfect moment without missing a beat, no matter how fast the action is. Plus, the X-H2S has a high resolution electronic viewfinder that provides me with an accurate representation of the image I'm about to take. This allows me to adjust my settings accordingly and avoid the need for excessive post-processing, not to mention that I can even get away with not using an external monitor. Let me give you a quick tip here on how to save battery on longer shooting days using the viewfinder. So let's say your camera is sitting on a tripod and all your settings are fixed, no changes are required and you just need to continuously record. So by simply switching to the viewfinder instead of monitoring on the LCD screen, you're saving a significant amount of battery. Okay, let's move on. So the X-H2S is not only features the usual built-in film simulations that replicate those beautiful classic film stocks and this is why we love Fuji cameras so much, right? But this one includes even more recipes like the nostalgic neg absolutely beautiful now using these simulations have saved me a ton of time in post-processing i no longer need to fiddle with curves and color correction as the camera does it for me i just select the film simulation i want that suits the theme or the mood of the video best and voila i have a beautifully processed images ready for delivery Another great improvement that hasn't really been mentioned by many other users is the wireless connectivity. We all know how dreadful the Fuji app can be, right? This needs to be sorted out as soon as possible. This thing can be shockingly bad. Surprisingly so far I feel like using the app with the X-H2S is much much better than trying to connect it to the X-T3 or the X-T4. Which means that now I can transfer my images and even shorter video clips directly onto my phone or tablet and this allows me to share my work with the clients in real time. This is really really handy and it saved me a ton of time so I no longer need to transfer the files onto my computer and then I can finally share it. But the real game changer for me has been the use of CF Express cards. This high speed memory card allows me to utilize the camera to its full capacity. So now I can capture incredibly large amount of images without worrying about slowing down the camera. And now I can shoot ProRes internally and that is massive. I mean yes the files are massive too but that's not what I meant. What I mean is ProRes files are much less compressed than the like of H.265 or H.264 so my computer doesn't have to decompress them when I edit. It means that it can cut through it super easily. I can even stock 10 layers of 4K footage at 60 frames per second, no problem. Not a single drop frame on playback, even on my base 8GB M1 MacBook Pro, I mean MacBook Air. And this is incredible! And it's not just the writing speed of the CFX Best cards that is incredibly fast, but reading and copying files onto my computer just got a whole lot easier too. No more sitting about waiting for files to be copied. Actually, let me just give you a couple of tips here. First, you may think you need a large CFX Best card because ProRes files are massive and you need a lot of storage, but you may be able to save money by buying a smaller card because, for example, with this Delkin Black card, when it's full, you can just pop it out and copy that 150 gig in less than four minutes onto your SSD. And that's insane. You put it back, format it in seconds, and you can continue your day. That's hardly going to cause you any inconvenience, right? And the second tip is if you're just about to buy your first CFX Best card but you don't have a compatible card reader yet, did you know that you can actually just plug in your camera to your computer directly and transfer the files through the charging cable? Now of course this is going to be much much slower than having a good card reader like this but it means you can get the card first and use it straight away while you're saving up for a decent card reader. And the word of advice, don't buy a cheap one because you really aren't saving on the long run. So let me summarize it real quick. All in all, the Fujifilm X-H2S has truly revolutionized my workflow. It has fast autofocus, high resolution of viewfinder, film simulations, wireless connectivity and the use of CFX Best cards have made it possible for me to take my photography and videography to the next level. If you're looking to speed up your workflow, I highly recommend trying out the X-H2S. And thanks for watching. Please like, comment and sub for more. Bye.